Since 50 Muslims were murdered while praying last Friday in New Zealand, the entire world has been informing themselves on the background of the killer who lives streamed his assault on innocent people. With that knowledge comes some, not so shocking, yet utterly devastating facts. White nationalism is on the rise around the world, and leaders like Donald Trump are giving them strength. Now, the U.S. House Judiciary Committee just announced they are going to hold a hearing on the rise of white nationalism. According to the Daily Beast, the House Judiciary Committee is planning on hosting a hearing in the coming weeks addressing the rise of white nationalism in the U.S. and the hate crime and hate speech surrounding the movement, according to two sources with direct knowledge of the committee's schedule. The white terrorist in New Zealand listed Trump as a person he admired in his killer's manifesto that he posted on the internet before carrying out the brutal attacks. Trump himself has called himself a nationalist but would not elaborate on whether or not he thought that made him a white nationalist. The Beast continues. Addressing the rise of white nationalism and related movements has been a tricky proposition for government officials in the past. When the Obama administration's Department of Homeland issued a warning in 2009 about the rise of right-wing extremism, the political backlash was so intense that then-Secretary Janet Napolitano had to issue a formal apology. During the last few years, Republican committee chairs resisted calls to hold hearings on the rise of white supremacy even as Congress passed ceremonial votes condemning it. This is a joke, right? Unfortunately, no. This hearing is a long time coming, and now that the black man is out of the White House, maybe we can force politicians to grow a backbone and stand up to the obvious power white people have in this country. Can you imagine black people complaining about a political move and the government issuing an apology? No. Because it would never happen. Ever.The Beast reported that individuals familiar with the FBI's focus on the rise of domestic terrorism and the increasing hate speech affiliated with white nationalism told The Daily Beast that the agency is actively working with faith leaders from across the nation to address the threats facing houses of worship. One individual said the FBI's Office of Partner Engagement was heading up the effort to engage with religious communities and educate them on how to secure their facilities. The agency is also engaging with local law enforcement agencies to help develop protocols for identifying individuals who may have the motivations for carrying out attacks on religious institutions. So, for right now, we are just asking the religious people to turn their places of worship into barbed wire fortresses with armed guards. You know, the kind of place you look forward to going to every week. So peaceful. White people are coddled in this country to the point of everyone else having to make accommodations just so that they can continue hating everyone who isn't porcelain. The FBI released the following statement. The FBI regularly assesses intelligence regarding possible threats to the US and will continue to work closely with our federal, state, and local law enforcement partners should there be any potential threat to public safety. The attacks in New Zealand serve as a reminder of the need for all of us to be vigilant. The FBI asks members of the public to maintain awareness of their surroundings and to report any suspicious activity to law enforcement.